We were a bunch of women who came from all over the world to Seoul in 1988 to teach English. Korea was transforming and opening up its doors to the West. The 1988 Olympics really represented South Korea's debut on the world stage. We were helping teach English to Koreans so that they were prepared for the new world coming into their peninsula. It was an interesting time. It was a dangerous time. There was Sandra. She took me under her wing, and we definitely bonded. Kathy Patrick, she was the head teacher, kind of our boss. I was definitely a party girl. And then there was Carolyn Abel. She was sparkly. She was beautiful, really funny. She had a wicked sense of humor. My sister Carolyn was an adventurer. People did notice her. She was vibrant. She attracted people's attention. She had become friends with all of us, but particularly with Kathy. They were like sisters. Life that year was great. We had so much fun. We worked hard, we played hard, we partied at night. Everything was going so well. All our fun came to a sudden crashing halt when one of us, Carolyn Abel, was murdered. It was absolutely horrible, brutal, violent. There were multiple stab wounds. I can't even begin to describe what that loss has been, like somebody had detonated a nuclear bomb in the middle of the family. So whoever killed Carolyn is still out there. We're at Newark Airport, about to head overseas to try to find some answers. What happened to this woman? Carolyn Abel. And where did Carolyn live? Carolyn lived over there. Um, out in this direction here. Out in this direction. I've been asking questions for 30 years. What happened the night that Carolyn was killed? Everybody loved Carolyn. Who was in the room? Who put the knife in? Why should anybody be able to get away with murdering somebody and never face charges? More than 30 years later, our investigation has brought us here to a university in Bellingham, Washington, where Carolyn Abel's alleged killer works. We just got word. We're going to make our move now. OK, this is the building. We were so sure the enemy was on the outside. It never occurred to any of us that the killer was among us.